Hello, I'm Captain Gans with the Depot Bay Fire District. October is Fire Prevention Month, and we like to talk about home escape plans. Do you know what to do in the event of a fire inside of your home? Depot Bay Fire respond on a residential structure fire 6610 Otter Crest Loop, Otter Rock, working fire 2. House fires today burn hotter and faster than ever before. This is due to lighter weight construction materials and the abundance of plastic used in household items today. You have less than three minutes to escape a fire in your home. A fire in the home can double in size in less than 30 seconds and quickly become out of control. It is important to sit down and talk with your whole family about the dangers of fire in the home. Create a home escape plan and make sure everyone in the household knows what it is. Make a map that shows the exit routes and meeting places you and your family will meet. Make sure to plan for more than one way out of your home in case the first option is blocked. Also, make sure to have a secondary meeting place in the event of this. For homes with multiple stories, it is a good idea to have a home escape ladder that is easily accessible to all occupants. Home escape ladders should only be used under adult supervision during escape plan drills. Parents should demonstrate to children who are old enough how to properly use a ladder during a home fire drill. Emphasize to children the importance of safety when using these ladders and make sure they understand that they are strictly for emergency use only. Make sure any home escape ladder is a certified and UL approved escape ladder. Make sure you have working smoke alarms in your home. Test all alarms twice a year. This is usually done during daylight savings time. Utilize the detectors during a home fire drill to get used to the noise. Many fire departments offer smoke alarm programs, including Depot Bay Fire District. Contact your local fire department to see if they participate in one of these programs. In addition to a home escape plan, it is a good idea to make sure you have a working flashlight next to your bed in case you have to escape during the night. It is also a good idea to have a pair of shoes and a robe close by. Before you go to bed, make sure you sleep with your bedroom door closed. It may save your life. Closing your bedroom door slows the spread of fire and smoke coming into your bedroom during a home fire. Remember, close before you doze. In this picture, you can see two identical bedrooms. One bedroom had the door closed during a home fire and received minimal smoke damage. The other bedroom had the door open during a home fire and has completely burnt over. If you must leave, exit your home immediately with your family. Make sure to feel for heat on the bedroom door before opening it. When exiting the home, shut the front door behind you. 
Once you exit, go straight to your designated meeting spot to account for all family members. Use your cell phone or have a neighbor call 911. Never go back into the home after exiting. Firefighters can appear scary to children, especially in an emergency. Talk to your children about how firefighters are there to help you and not to run away from them. Schedule a meet and greet with your local fire department so your kids can get used to interacting with firefighters in their gear. Thank you for watching our video on home escape plans. Make sure you establish a home escape plan today and practice it with your family. Stay safe and be prepared.